Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. I'm Rhett Saul. On today's episode, we're going to compare these two amplifiers. This is a 1971 Marshall JMP. This is a 1980 Park 50 watt. Both of them are actually 50 watts. We're going to compare them with multiple speaker cabinets. We're going to talk about the microphones we're using and the mic pre's next. Let's check it out. The cabinet we're going to start out with is a 20 year old or so basket weave 100 watt Marshall straight cabinet here. It has 25 watt Celestian greenbacks in it. We're using two microphones on one clip. This microphone obviously is a Shure SM57 and this microphone is a really great Royer R122V tube ribbon mic. Really killer for guitar recording. Since it's on one clip like this, it'll be very easy to place in the same spot on each cabinet so we get a great comparison. Okay, the next cabinet we have here is a Mesa 412 cabinet. This has vintage 30 speakers, and this cabinet is actually wider than the Marshall cabinet. It's much heavier, and you're gonna notice a big difference in it. Just because, just with that extra depth that it has, it's gonna have probably a chunkier low end. This is a high watt 412 cabinet with 75 watt Fane speakers in it. It's also ported on the back, so you're gonna have a little bit more low end on this cabinet as well. Okay, this is a Marshall 412 cabinet with vintage 65 watt Celestians. Now, when I say vintage, I actually pulled these out of another cabinet that was in early 80s or late 70s JSM 800. One of the first years, probably 1980 or 81 JSM 800 cabinet and put them in this particular one. So these have a very different sound. The mic breeze we'll be using for today's video are two BAE 1032s. These are Neve 1073 style EQs with an expanded mid-range. Okay, we're all plugged in and ready to record. We're gonna start with the JMP going through the Marshall basket weave cabinet. And the point of this is to highlight how big of a difference the speaker cabinet and speaker combination makes on your tone. The IRs that are in every amp simulator, the Axe FX, the Kemper, the Helix, all use this particular Marshall cabinet with this exact same miking combination, the uh, one, well, the 121. Yeah and a 57 together. So this is actually to do a comparison of what they actually sound like in real life compared to yeah. simulators. Yeah, so this is the real deal. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is Rhett and I are gonna play familiar songs, switch between the four cabinets with each little song bit that we play so that you can hear them back to back playing the same thing. Let's check it out. Next, I'm going to do a picking part that you'll be familiar with and then go into a strum sound and go through all four cabinets, but with my 1965 SG. Let's check it out.
Next, Rhett is going to play a clean lead part on his rhythm pickup with a little bit of delay and then flip to his lead pickup and play some lead. Let's check it out.
Okay, so here's my personal opinion on the four cabs. I really dug the, the Marshall with the 65 watt selections. I thought it had the full low end, had great top end, creamy top end, as opposed to this particular Marshall, which was brighter and didn't quite have the bottom end. Uh, I really like the Mesa, has a lot of bottom end, and I thought it was the second best sounding one. The high watt was a bit mid-rangey in the 1K, kind of nasally sounding. If I were actually recording that, I would have EQ'd it differently. So, you know, a lot of this stuff can be changed by the mic placement or by the EQ on it. I, I have a similar layout. Definitely the 65 watch selections I thought were the best. Um, if I were recording the same amps but with single coil guitars, I probably would have done the high watt because that extra mid-range would fill in nicely. I think we didn't like that because we're playing two humbucker guitars. Right. I was really surprised by the Mesa cabinet. I did, I've never really played through one of these extensively, and I've definitely never shot it out with any other cabinets that I'm familiar with. This thing is a beast, man. The, the low end, it was almost like we kicked the subwoofer on in the control room when we started playing the Mesa cab. It was huge. It, um, it is actually thicker. The, 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 when you look at it from, from the back, it's actually the construction is more stout than this Marshall, for example. Yeah, of the four, my least favorite were the Greenbacks. With these amps and these guitars, I thought it was a little fizzy in the top end. This is glorious. This cabinet is amazing. So, yeah, man. And then the two amps, I mean, they're similar in style, but they're voiced totally Very differently. differently. Yeah. yeah, I mean, fantastic. I mean, that JMP, man, that thing is incredible, you know. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a first time viewer, don't forget to ring the bell. Even if you've been subscribed for a while, make sure you have the bell checked. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. The new Beato ear training program is out. It's really incredible. If your ear needs to be improved, like pretty much all of us, go to beatoeartraining.com and check out the video introduction and see what it's all about. And if you wanna support the channel even more, Think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thank you so much for watching.